the debate on how we treat prostate cancer will continue for a long period of time. But what's important as a urologist that we need to be thinking about the functional outcome of prostate cancer treatment, in particular patients undergoing prostate cancer uh, surgery and radiation therapy. It's critical that we find the patients who are struggling to gain continence and try to give them support and also identify those patients who are likely to require surgical intervention. Obviously, the treatment of stress incontinence in men who have had sphincteric weakness following prostate cancer surgery has improved and advanced in the uh, uh, last few years with variety of uh, treatments, but the use of artificial urinary sphincter remain a, a cornerstone of what we can offer to our patients. Patient satisfaction is usually very high, and uh, complications are uh, becoming less and less. Traditionally and historically, people get a little bit reluctant to recommend the uh, artificial sphincter or even to undergo the surgery for our in in implantation of artificial sphincter, usually related to historical uh, uh, concern about uh, infection, erosion, especially with uh, patients with, uh, who have had a neurological disease or spina bifida. Yet we have to treat patients with uh, uh, um, urinary incontinence following radical prostatectomy as a different group where they have less complications uh, compared with other group of patients who undergo implantation of artificial sphincter. Uh, and this is really what we try to demonstrate from uh, uh, our study and our paper. And I really hope that you can find the time to uh, spend uh, and review uh, this uh, 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 very interesting study. And thank you very much. Zaki Almala, uh, consultant urologist.